Just how critical is this game to try to just reverse what's been happening with Vanderbilt the last few years? Oh, it's very critical. You know, the Tennessee Vander game is a really important game each and every year. And it's definitely a game that we want to win. So we just got to go out there with Rob Monte, go into practice today with Rob Monte, that, uh, to do anything and, and everything to win this game. Daniel, what are your thoughts about this, this last game of Mark Hall as a senior? I mean, what, what goes through your mind? Do you, do you reflect, or, or are you more centered just on the game at hand than any sort of reflective type of stuff? Yeah, yeah I, I definitely reflect. It's going to be my last game in Neyland. You know, my time here really has been amazing. Uh, the best fans of the nation. To be able to go out there for my last game and get a W for these guys, the seniors that I've been playing with, uh, during my time here definitely means a lot. And I plan on doing anything and everything in order to get this win, so it definitely means a lot. Daniel, through, through 11 games, how the season started, you not being out there, where you guys now are with a chance to get to seven wins. You're a cerebral guy. How would you describe this year, you know, it, when you kind of reflect on it? How would you describe this season? i describe it as life. You know, I've been preached about multiple times that football is life sped up. You're going to go through it's through bumps and bruises, but you just got to go out there and persevere. Uh, no matter what's thrown at, there, thrown at you, you just got to let it go and just keep on working. And uh, this team has definitely done that uh, throughout this season, and I'm definitely proud of the guys in the locker room for doing that. You didn't see a whole lot of Keyshawn Vaughn in last year's game. Just from what you see of him on film, what makes him a dangerous running back? Well, he, he has all the intangibles. You know, I've, I've known Keyshawn since high school. You don't know, you don't play some football without knowing Keyshawn and the records he's pulled uh, just in the natural area. So I definitely know he's a great running back and uh, he'll take what you give him and he'll definitely make plays if you're not on your, if you're not honed in on what you're doing, your assignment. So we definitely need to close our gaps and try to make them run through us. Daniel, what, what kind of a role have you tried to play with this group, maybe off the field, given the way the season's played out and also given the fact that this team is quite young? Uh, just any and everything I can do. You know, if a guy is going through some things off the field, you know, I'm, I want them to know that I'm going to be there for them. Uh, if they're going through some things on the field, I'm going to do that as well. Uh, just in and everything, you know. I'm, I'm going to be that older brother because I've already experienced the things that they're going through. So, if they have any questions about anything, I'll be there for them. Now you're on the other side of the ball, but what kind of impression has Jarrett made on you and the team in general? Just the way he's kind of bounced back from everything he was going through in the first half of the season. Uh, everything, you know, his resiliency and what he's been through has definitely motivates the guys in the locker room to work for him. You know, he's our quarterback, and we've obviously had a lot of guys step up when the opportunity was called. And uh, we support any and every guy that's on that field at the uh, given moment. So uh, it's just the brotherhood that we have in that locker room to support each and every uh, player that's in that uh, team, so on this team. So uh, we definitely have his, his and everybody else's back in the team. How does it feel knowing this is the last time that you're going to be put on the power team? It's, it's pretty surreal, you know. I'm definitely going to embrace it and uh, run through that team. Uh, for the very last time, but uh, like I said, it's definitely been amazing, you know, to have been recruited here and see how amazing this place was and to actually come here and uh, being able to experience it for myself, uh, it's second to none, so uh, my time here has definitely been amazing and I thank Wild Nation for everything. Starting back in July at SEC media days into where we are sitting right now heading into the Vanderbilt game, how would you kind of sum up? You know the last four to five months and, and everything that you've been through in the team and, and how they've kind of responded as well down the stretch. Uh, really, just putting our heads down and working. You know, at the end of the day, I, I said at the end of the day, uh, each and every day, we're in control of our destiny. So just put your head down and work, and everything is, is going to take care of itself. We all know if we're bought into Coach Pruitt and his system that he had for this university, uh, things would work out the way it did, and uh, we're obviously seeing that. So. Uh, definitely part of this team and his resiliency. You've been a part of two different kind of coaching staffs here. What would you say about Jeremy Pruitt and his staff and the way that they've kind of brought everybody together over the last two years? And, and what are your fondest memories? Uh, really just, just everything. I, I really try to embrace each and every moment. You know, when this coaching staff first came in, they embraced each and every player like they were their own, like we're sons of theirs. So. Uh, this coaching staff has, has done a great job of doing so, helping each and every player get better as a football player. And I'm really thankful to have these coaches here. This 
game could have some impact at least on what bowl you'll end up playing in. Do you have any preferences on where you end up spending the holidays, where you end up going for you? Nah, nah, yeah, I'm, I'm really focused on Vanderbilt. You know, we got to get back at them. They've had a run on us for the past three years, and I'm ready to play them on Saturday. Being from Nashville, just how difficult has it been going back home? I've got a lot of, uh, I've got, I used to have some friends on the team, so they, they'd definitely be in my ear about them winning, so I'm, I'm ready to get back at them. So. Used to have some friends, they're no longer on the team, or they're no longer your friends? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, they're no longer my friend playing. <laughs> no, 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 they, they play there, but uh, Juwan Williams, he played there, he's with the Patriots right now, so uh, we joke around and everything, so, uh, yeah. Dan, in terms of the buy-in with this, this senior group, with this staff, what's been most important, do you think? Has it been their coaching expertise, or is it this personal touch that you talked about, them sort of embracing you guys? I'd say buying in. You know, uh, the, these coaches, they're as consistent as, I've, as any person I've ever seen. And uh, for all our guys that finally just bought into the program, bought into what these coaches were preaching uh, from the uh, time they got here, uh, it's really allowing us to win these games. You know, these coaches obviously know what they're talking about, uh, looking at their track record. So uh, being able to follow their lead and understand that what they've been saying all along is, is winning football uh, really feels good to finally be in the position we're in right now. Daniel, sorry if you already you know answered this, but what? You said what? It wasn't for you, I had eight sacks right now. <laughs> I love um, you, DT. <laughs> um, with, with, with the meeting after Florida, Coach said that, you know, he, there was something that he wanted to, you know, make sure the seniors understood how important it was so they had more of a, you know, more of a focus or whatever. Is that something you guys realized before that meeting, or was that something that kind of caught you off guard when he said that? Uh, can, you, can you say that again, please? Uh, Coach Pruitt said that he thought that the seniors needed to step it up a little bit in, in that meeting after Florida. Um, was that something that you guys kind of had an inkling that maybe that needed to happen, or did it kind of catch you off guard that he said that? No, no, no. It, it, at, at this point, uh, anything Coach Pruitt says it really doesn't catch you off guard. You know, you, you're never going to question how Coach Pruitt feels. So if you felt that the seniors needed to step up, then we needed to step up. And we finally did that. You know, uh, this train is going to run with the seniors operating it. Uh, we're the ones in the locker room with the – younger guys and uh, they're going to follow our lead so coach Pruitt definitely saw that we need to, we needed to step up in in our area and I felt like we've done